Any day now, the ebb and flow will crash and flood. The volcano will erupt in all its glory before I'm left with molten ash again. Before I'm left cool as a cucumber, calm as a mill pond, stoic and unmoving and unwavering as a stupid stubborn goat who will never know the gory end he is standing bleakless in wait of. Any day now, I will remember the feeling, I will nurse the pain, I will fondly caress each new skin formed on old wounds, only to be rehashed again and again and again. How did I get so busy being your daughter and your friend, your peer and your confidant, restorer of your memories, the bearer of your strength? How did I get so busy that I forgot to look in the mirror? I forgot to pace up and down in agony. I forgot to be myself. Any day now, I will realize that empty wombs make wailing sounds and naked fingers hide in empty pockets. Lonely legs are strong and steady and have nowhere to go. Healthy hearts do not live long and livers drown in misery and thoughts remain unthunk. Any day now, I will pick up my pen and then scramble an old tissue paper and write incoherent ramblings about life and love and loss and hope to be retrieved and framed and hung in the museums in my mind. Any day now, I will rise like that phoenix, the one I insisted would perch on my left bicep, the one that was supposed to remind me of someone or something or any day now. I won't need a reminder, won't need a map to remember my body, to trace the depth of my dimple, the bump on my nose, the tombstones on my side, the scars and the stories and the unique flaws that rest on skinny wrists, the metacarpals that learned how to direct the fury from my thoughts onto paper, the arms that held my wandering soul, the stomach that fed and housed and sustained the poet that I am any day now.